What's up guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in this video I'm going to go over my DraftKings and FanDuel NFL divisional round picks for basically the last NFL DFS slate of the year. All right, guys, so if you can notice from my voice, I'm a little under the weather, but I'll try to get through this video. Uh, starting off, let's go through my wild card picks from last weekend. We had four picks go off. We had DeAndre Hopkins put up 17.7 points. He had that going into half and then did nothing in the second half, so it looked good uh, to start. Ended up being just an average play. Quarterback Eli Manning put up 15.06 points. He was the fourth highest scoring quarterback of the week, but uh, if you didn't have Aaron Rodgers, you probably didn't win or come in one of the top spots in a GPP contest. Uh, then we had running back Zach Zenner. Uh, he was a value running back, pretty decent, 14.8 points, wasn't disappointed. Uh, thought he could get a little more, but uh, was okay with that. And then the big bust of the week was Odell Beckham, 6.8 DraftKings points. He dropped about two or three passes, and including one in the end zone I thought he could have had. Uh, so that was disappointing to see. I also emailed out some updates, so make sure you're signed up for my email update list. All you have to do is click on the DFS emails link in the YouTube description below. And then I've got some exciting news. If you haven't already heard, we're going to be launching a new Sports Geek website. So the sportsgeek.com. We're going to have a new website up in February and we're going to be covering a lot more DFS there. And we're going to have a lot more daily articles and pick articles. I'm going to be hiring new guys. We're going to be covering all the sports throughout the summer to help us get through until next football season. We're going to have golf. We're going to have MLB. We're going to have NBA. Uh, so make sure you guys are signed up for the sportsgeek.com email list as well, and you'll get updates on those DFS picks daily too. All right, so moving on to my DraftKings and FanDuel NFL divisional round picks, starting off with the quarterback and wide receiver stack. We got Matt Ryan from the Falcons, $7,000, paired with Taylor Gabriel, who's $4,400 on DraftKings this week. Obviously love Julio Jones as well, uh, but for a cheaper stack and something a little different, I'll be stacking Matt Ryan with Taylor Gabriel as well. Uh, the Falcons are at home versus Seattle as four and a half point favorites with a high total at 51.5 points. And Atlanta has the second highest implied team total at 28 points. So they're expected to score around four touchdowns in this game. Uh, Matt Ryan led the NFL in quarterback passer rating, completing 69.9% of his passes for 4,944 yards with 38 touchdowns and just seven interceptions. Uh, the Seahawks did rank sixth in passing yards against per game, but they had a relatively easy schedule in a weak NFC West division. And these two teams did meet already this season in Seattle in week six with the Seahawks winning 26 to 24. But Matt Ryan did have 26.6 DraftKings points in that game. And then if you take a look at Matt Ryan's DraftKings game log here, you can see how consistent he's been over the second part of the season. Uh, he scored 19 or more DraftKings points in seven of his last nine games. He scored 30 or more DraftKings points in two of those nine games as well. So he's put up some monster games. Uh, he's thrown multiple touchdown passes in seven of his last nine games as well. So he's been very consistent. One of the best quarterbacks in the league this year and one of the best fantasy scoring quarterbacks. And then taking a look at Taylor Gabriel's DraftKings game log, you can see how consistent he's been since he's become a starter for Atlanta. He's gotten in eight games where he's been a main target for Matt Ryan. And you can see his DraftKings points there, 15, 18, 14, 26, 17, 15. So he scored, uh, looks like, 14 or more DraftKings points in six of his eight games. He's gotten five touchdowns. Uh, that usually doesn't get too many targets with Julio getting a majority of the targets, but he usually averages around five targets per game. And with his speed, he has a lot of upside. And at 4,400, I really like him. So this is my favorite uh, stack of the week value-wise, Matt Ryan to Taylor Gabriel. Moving on to running back, we got Ezekiel Elliott from the Cowboys. He's $8,500 on DraftKings and FanDuel, and he'll probably be the most popular running back play of the week. Uh, but he's someone that I love, and that I'll probably try to jam into as many lineups as I can. Uh, the Cowboys are at home versus the Packers as four and a half point favorites with a total at 52 points, which is the highest on the board for the weekend. And the Cowboys have the highest implied team total of the weekend at 28.3 points. So they're also expected to score around four touchdowns. And if they can get to that number around 28 points, I would expect Ezekiel Elliott to have a pretty big game. Uh, Green Bay does have a good rush defense. They ranked eighth in rushing yards against per game and 14th in rushing yards against per attempt. But these two teams met earlier this season in October, and Zeke rushed for 157 yards and had 22.4 drafting points despite not having a touchdown in that game. And in other recent matchups versus top rush defenses, Zeke has managed 107 yards on 24 carries versus the Giants for 13.7 drafting points, 
and 97 yards on 25 carries versus the Ravens for 16.7 drafting points. So two decent outings against what I would call better rush defenses than the Packers. And then if you look at his game log here from the majority of the season, you can see how consistent he's been. He's had multiple games over 20 DraftKing points. He's had a 35 DraftKing point game, a 43.9, a 30.8. Uh, he's just been a beast all season for fantasy scoring, multiple touchdowns in multiple games, does get targets as well. Uh, he's had as many as five targets in a game, and he's got great breakaway speed, so he's capable of putting up a monster DraftKings score. Definitely a guy that I want in my lineups this weekend. And then for tight end, we got Jared Cook from the Packers at $3,900 on DraftKings. Like I mentioned, this is expected to be a very high scoring game between the Packers and Cowboys. The Cowboys rank 32nd in DraftKings points against to tight end. So they've been the worst in the league as far as fantasy scoring against tight ends. And with Jordy Nelson uh, most likely out for this game, Jared Cook will probably be a popular ta target for Aaron Rodgers. He had nine targets last week, uh, which isn't included in the game log screenshot that you can see there. Uh, so we had nine targets, five catches last week. And then if you look at his most recent games, he's got a couple games with eight targets, one game with 11 targets. And now with Nelson out, uh, those 10 to 12 targets that Nelson usually gets uh, probably have to be spread around to other guys. I expect Cook to get a lot of targets and going up against the league's worst defense versus tight ends. I expect him to have a pretty big game here. So 3,900, I think he'll be a popular play, but I really like him this week. And then lastly, we've got a value defense, the Steelers at $2,900 on DraftKings. They're my favorite value defense under 3000 this week. I think a lot of people are going to be paying up for the Patriots. And if you want to be a little different, you can find a value defense like the Steelers at 2900 uh, Pittsburgh is playing at Kansas City as one and a half point underdogs. And this game has the lowest total on the board at 44 and a half points. The Steelers DST is averaging a respectable 6.9 DraftKings points on the road this year and 7.1 DraftKings points overall. And they've been playing a lot better in the second half of the season. You can see their most recent games. Uh, they've been getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. You can see the sacks there, 8, 3, 2, 5, 1, 2, 4. Uh, last week had a lot of pressure on Miami, which isn't pictured in this game log screenshot. They put up 15 DraftKings points last week. They've had an interception, uh, at least one interception in eight straight games. So they've been uh, pretty solid as a defense overall, getting a lot of pressure, getting some turnovers, haven't returned many of those to the house for some big drafting points. Uh, but that's always something, it's always a possibility when you're turning the ball over. So I think they're a great play this week at $2,900, even though they're on the road as a slight underdog. And that wraps up my DraftKings and FanDuel NFL divisional round picks. If you want to win more money at DraftKings or FanDuel this year across all sports, I highly recommend you check out the Fantasy Labs tools. I'll leave a link to Fantasy Labs in the YouTube description below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a big favor and click that like or thumbs up button. It will help support this YouTube channel and let me know that you guys want me to continue making videos like this. So as always, guys, good luck in your contest this week. Hope you make some money. Cheers. If you don't want to miss out on any videos that I post, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. To do that, just click on this button over here. Or if you want to watch another one of my videos that I think you'll enjoy, click on the video image over here.